Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome aboard the Jetty Wolf one more time. Well, what I want to show you all today is the new addition that I put on the old Jetty Wolf. What was it? Last week sometime, I think. Yeah, last week. Um, you know, it's getting to be that time of year here in Jacksonville, Florida, when it's kind of hot and, and you got a lot of kids and you're doing all this stuff and everybody thinks they're going to Gilligan's Island. Now it ain't like that in the winter time. In the winter time, I could take say like three guys, they show up with two bottles of water, a cup of coffee in the morning and a sandwich. Not in the summer. I get the families in the summer with the kids and they got the 12 pack of Gatorade, the 12 pack of water, the 12 pack of beer. The 14 subs, the 15 bags of potato chips. Um, so, you know, I, this obviously, I mean, as you can see, it's not a, it's not an RV, but I have to be sort of like an RV for the picnic folks. I mean, it's okay. I've been doing this long enough that I know what the whole story is. I mean, I usually go out with like my big, you know, uh, 20 ounce or what is it, you know, tumbler thing that I got from Walmart and I got my uh, seltzer water, my apple cider vinegar in it mixed with some OJ. That's pretty much all I need all day. Now I might, you know, bring a light sandwich or I might bring a, you know, piece of fried chicken from the night before or a couple fish fried fish flays. My lunch is this big. But you know, that's the general public. So, I've been carrying these for seats. These are my frostbite coolers, and I've been just carrying them for seats, basically. Okay. And I had my Yeti hoppers, yeah. And as a matter of fact, I sold one to my neighbor around the corner over here. And I've got another one for sale, a 40-quart Yeti hopper because now I'm never probably ever going to be using the hoppers again. That was a great idea, having a really light little cooler to throw some ice in and throw fish in or throw, you know, trout. I mean, trout, soft trout, you know. Um, throw a couple drinks in during the winter, but it was all well and good and I really liked using it because there's like nothing on the boat. So now I'm using these little gray frostbites that kind of match my my boat. The, the decks here is all wet right now. But um, I slide these out and these turn into instant seats anywhere in the boat. And of course, you know, I got my live well over here. That's usually in the corner. But what I ended up doing is really making the commitment to go ahead and get something like this. Yes, sir. That is a 200 quart cube style Icy Tech. The reason I went with Icy Tech is price, simplicity. You know, I'm all about simple here on the uh, Jetty Wolf. Uh, simplicity and size look how this fits in here okay I come walking up got the icy tech here look at this walking room I still have all the way around the boat okay as a matter of fact it turns out that it's so sweet that when I'm pulling my anchor I'm up here and I'm pulling the anchor up the chute here, okay? I can sit here if it's really rough and I can pull the anchor just sitting here and pull the anchor when it's really rough and I can hardly stand up in the boat 
And look how this fits. This fits perfectly. So, um, what I meant about simplicity is the latches. I had those Ingle coolers with those fancy snap down rubber latches and oh my god they were breaking all the time okay so then you got this and then it's got a built-in handle okay and then you open her up and that baby that baby's thick and it, it's really insulated I mean it does very well so far in in the heat it's got a rubber gasket around here it's no super fancy gasket but it's got a rubber gasket this is neat then it goes down and sits inside okay as you can see that's gonna go in and it fits down inside so um, big drain plug at each corner got a drain plug over here too all right the hinges seem to be very well made uh, it's just a very icy text kind of a real simple no glitz no glamour handles they're built in right here you got a recessed thing <coughs> excuse me and it sits right up against the console so what does this do also if I lock her on down it also provides A seat <laughs> now I was thinking about taking this and putting some C deck on top of it but then again the way people kind of treat your stuff I'm afraid when I put it on it might peel off being s slick like this might be easier just to maintain you know so you got a seat up here with a little bit of a backrest. So got a little bit of a backrest. But I thought I'd share that with you folks. Since it's a gloomy doomy Friday out here in Jacksonville, Florida, and the wind has been blowing like 25 knots, small craft advisories gusting up to 35 knots dropping branches all kinds of stuff around my neighborhood so I uh, obviously uh, we canceled tomorrow's trip and I gave the man back his deposit it started what on Wednesday for tomorrow Saturday to be a whopping 10 to 15 knots well now tomorrow it's 20 to 25 kind of cleaned up the boat cleaned out the cooler because as of Monday morning I have the retina doctor working on my eye okay what the jetty wolf has we got the stairway to heaven baby stairway to heaven i have some kind of detachment or some kind of bump on my eye when i when i look through this eye i see some shading up in the top corner here and that's what i originally went to the doctor for i was like yeah what's this I thought I was going to leave out with some drops for dry eye or something. And then the VA ended up sending me to this retina specialist. And now the VA had to cor you know, correspond back and forth with the retina specialist. And it turns out Monday at 8, I got to be at this, uh, sur at this hospital. They don't do the surgery, which takes a whopping 30 minutes, till 11. And it's another day of medical fun which I hate more than anything and then the next day which will be this Tuesday coming up I have an appointment for a follow-up at one o'clock and I didn't book any charters but my next charter is a week from tomorrow all because of this and I'm hoping it's calm enough that we can get a little offshore because you know how bad I want to go do my little secret I've been telling you about something that's going to be outstanding if I could ever do it. If I ever get slick 
calm seas and maybe just one or two people. And I suppose we have a guy and his girlfriend next Saturday. And we could just, you know, do a little bottom fishing, do a little this, and then do a little bit what I want to do out there. Over some ledges offshore. Lime rock, ledges, little live bottom areas. Not far, eight miles from the jetties. So, well, that's the new addition to the Jetty Wolf. I just thought I'd share that with you. So there probably won't be no fishing videos going on here for the next week or so. Um, all I can say is thanks for watching and uh, come on. Bring your stuff. I got the cooler for you now, baby. 200 quarts worth. Oh, what I also do with it is it's a great place to store ice for the week. I put three or four 20 pound bags of ice in there and I'm sort of good for the week. I mean, you know, I don't have to be worrying about ice all the time. All right, well, till next time, thanks for watching.